I had no idea that you did some UFC fighting. I did. Well, don't don't give me too much credit. Yeah. The UFC is oh, the yeah, highest UFC, level yeah. organization. I did not make it yeah. anywhere close to that. But I did do a couple MMA fights. Yeah. So uh yeah, that's I mean, it's a it's a cool thing to um say I've done. Um For sure. I'm super proud of it. I was a collegiate wrestler. I wrestled at a pretty high level at the NCAA tournament, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, because that's that's what I always knew, because you right. had the history, you did pretty well in So from a credential SEC perspective, and, yeah. I still think that like takes the cake. But mm. in terms of intensity and um something that was like a really life-changing oh, yeah. experience doing an MMA fight. Um, it's as crazy as you might think. For sure. Um, was that always in your mind when you were wrestling that like, I want to give that a go or that could be the career? It's pretty natural to at least be interested in that because what a lot of people don't realize about wrestling is that unless you're going to be an Olympian, there's really like collegiate wrestling yeah. is essentially like the pros. For sure. There's really no, like, so if, unless you're going to be That's the right. Olympian, which is like eight total people yeah. per Olympics, yeah. very, very small amount of people. The uh, only next mm. thing you could do, you can you can approach jujitsu, which is not like usually going to be like a money-making thing mm -hmm. very much. And then MMA would be like kind of the only thing where That's you right. could like, if you did approach it all the way, you could like actually make some money and make a career out of that. Obviously yeah. only a few people do, but it's really natural to want to try 100%. that out. And uh, so, yeah, it was interesting to me, but I did have like a few years after I finished my career, wrestling career. Got it. Um, took a, like a few years where I didn't really approach it. And then I kind of jumped back in. Yeah. I was really craving that. Uh -huh. And it was just like, it, for me, I only did two fights. It really was kind of like bucket list mm. as opposed to like, I'm going to do this and run it all the way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just the way that myself and especially a lot of athletes are, like when I was training MMA, I was like all in. For so sure. like if I would have continued doing life. that, yeah. like I probably would be nowhere near where I am in my career <laughs> because, and I probably also wouldn't have made the UFC. So it would have been bad no, in a exactly, lot of ways. Yeah. But I 100% committed for a few yeah. fights. Yeah. Fights, um, had two wins. I uh, felt really good about my oh, performance. Sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's super intense though, but just going to like the actual events, like I did it yeah. in Durham and this, uh, the place is called the Durham Armory. Okay. Um, it's about as, uh, it's like something out of a movie scene. No so way. it's like yeah. the, the, all the fans are like right up on you. Mm -hmm. Obviously they like lock the cage yeah. behind you. You get like your walkout music, yeah. but it's like, I would imagine it's almost as, as intense as anything because Definitely. it's like, couple thousand people yeah. and I would say like 500 of them were there for me so that's nerve wracking Whoa, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I still was a trainer at that point so I had like this big reach Your of a squad, lot of people yeah. I had like the yeah. squad <laughs> so um, definitely nerve wracking but how did you have to change up your training from what you were doing in school to do that? Was it yeah. a major adjustment for you to go from? So the good news is wrestling kind of is still one of the biggest bases yeah. for MMA. The but you grappling have to, nature yeah, of it. Exactly. Yeah. So if you can take somebody to the ground, they can't really, they, it's really hard for them to knock yeah. you out. They yeah, can yeah. tap you out. But um, so I knew my wrestling was going to be my base. You just want to get good enough at the other stuff Got on the it. amateur Got level it. to be like, I'm not going to get knocked out before I take this person so to the ground. So your game plan was basically like, get him, get him to the ground get him to the really ground. as soon yep. as I can. So my oh, first fight, yeah. I thought I would stand up a little bit just because it's like exciting to like throw oh, some yeah. punches. Yeah. And like as soon as the guy approached me, I just went straight for a takedown. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's just like you go <laughs> instant, you, you instantly like, yeah, to yeah. what you know. Yeah. And then the second fight, I promised myself I would throw a few blows before I took him down. Okay. So I hit the dude with like a big right hook and then I went for a takedown. Then we were on the <laughs> ground <laughs> but I did land a lot of blows once we were on the ground so nice, it's still yeah. kind of it's kind of crazy but I will say like my own personality type like I didn't really love the idea especially like I dominated my fights pretty well like yeah. I didn't really love the feeling of like oh I'm like beating the crap out of this really? person. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like a person I don't know. Yeah. They seem like nice guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I don't really love the idea. So like that was actually part of my, well, there's two sides of it. Obviously, I don't want to get the crap beat out of me. For and sure. luckily I yeah. didn't in either of those two first fights. Yeah. So I'm like, I came out unscathed. That's number one. Yep. But number two being like, I didn't really love like beating the crap out of somebody. Like I like, it's like, these are, I don't have anything yeah. against this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it takes a special for type sport, of person kinda... for sport to like, I could really hurt could this person. Crazy, little... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And um, so my wife was really scared before I did my MMA fight. And this is this is kind of crazy. But um, yeah. the guy right before that, um, and we were early on in our relationship at this time. Mm -hmm. She was not, she was like not into it at yeah. all. But she was like going to be supportive. Okay. Um, the guy right before I fought 
um, he had to be defib- defibrillated on, on the, the on the uh, like the fight before me. No so he like way. literally was like his heart stopped. Jeez. The guy slammed him Sl- from a slam. From a slam, Holy you'll see boy. at amateur levels like yeah. people get hurt more at amateur levels because because okay. the competition's a little wider. You might see really? somebody like myself that's a Division One wrestler, that's right. wrestling a, or uh, fighting a yeah. dude that's like training out of his garage. Oh wow! <laughs> you know wow. what I mean? Yeah, they yeah. try to pair. So it the up tournaments decent. are kind of open. Open it's like, call, like they try to say at least they don't want to let like a random dude come in, sure. but like you don't need to prove too much about how good you are. And yeah. then they might like, you know, so if my first fight, I have no fights versus this other dude that has no fights. But my no fights was I've been a combat athlete since I was six years exactly. old. And his <laughs> is like, I train out of my garage. Right. So <laughs> and that Johnny wasn't down the yeah, street. Yeah, exactly. We got the mats <laughs> exactly. So you'll see some yeah. ass, ass whippings. Holy shit. You'll see bigger ass whippings <laughs> yeah. than in the UFC. Like it's pretty, like you'll see some big knockouts and Definitely. stuff like that, but it's usually much closer competition. So you actually don't see it get like yeah. super wild like wow. that as much. Who were you training with to get into that? I was training with uh, Brandon Garner. He's okay. uh, he's uh, uh, the owner of Gracie Raleigh. Got so the it. nice yeah. thing is he actually almost made the UFC himself and he was a good MMA fighter, but he's like exactly like my size. Mm-hmm. We're already friends. So like my training part, he was like my training partner yeah. and my coach. Like that's so that, such a game changer. That worked out really, really yeah. well. And he like is one of those dudes that like he doesn't really take, he was like more in his prime then. We're both a little older now, but like yeah. he wouldn't take it easy on me. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, so you did fun. the two, you did the two fights. Two fights. Yeah. And then it was like. I yeah. got my fill or like, what was yeah. the headspace? It was like, I mean, I'll be one. totally honest. I'll even throw myself under the bus here. The competition was about to raise a little bit and it's okay. like, I'm going to need to like fully dedicate myself. Yeah. And like these next two dudes, like I didn't get hit once in my first two fights. Wow. I'm like, yeah. I wasn't scared of that, but I'm like, these other dudes can like knock me the Definitely. hell out. Cause yeah. they're going to like raise you up in competition real quick. And yep. I'm like, just sit back and like, did I get enough out of this in terms mm. of like just fulfillment? Yeah. Um, where I don't really want to risk my body. I was just like, yeah, I think I, I think I'm good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Cause like, yeah, the second you like take your foot off the gas all the way, it's like yeah. you leave that little, uh, that room for air. 100%. And that could be lights out. And I'll be, I, I uh, definitely heard, um, I've heard Joe Rogan say this a lot and it resonated with me. He's, yeah. he's like, the second you, d- you feel like you have any doubt of whether like you want to go out there and like go a hundred percent to like hurt this other person Mm -hmm. because that is like the job for sure then if you have any doubt about that then you should stop because the other person might be that person that's really trying to hurt you and if you have any hesitation whatsoever (laughs) then you're gonna get you're gonna get fucked up 